everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and today we're doing another style swap challenge. I do apologize, I forgot to take screenshots of the randomly generated numbers for the pages, so I don't remember exactly what pages I'm referencing, but I got this fancy lady, and then next I got this fancy man. In the last Style Swap Challenge video, I asked you guys if you were interested in seeing the two characters swapping styles rather than just making one character out of the style swap, and a majority of you said that you would like to see that. So today is my first attempt at switching the outfits rather than just placing the outfit on the first character. Anyway, I decided to draw both characters on the same sheet of paper. I do like the character design of the girl in the suit a lot more than the guy in the dress, but maybe that's just the tomboy in me. There was definitely a part of me during the drawing process that wished that I had stuck with my original process of picking a person slash a pose and then picking an outfit. But I do think that it was fun to have more than one character on a page because I do feel like sometimes the pages look really empty and boring and I kind of have them looking at each other. So that's another thing. I did change that about them. I changed the way they were looking and kind of tried to make them seem like they were in the same space, if that makes sense. I also had a hard time deciding what to do with accessories. I couldn't decide if I wanted to keep the man with his glasses and hat on since I had no reference for his hair or his eyes for that matter. But I decided against that and decided to just kind of make it up and draw what I assume he looks like underneath that hat and draw what I assume he looks like underneath the hat and glasses. I really like how the girl's pose turned out with the cane and everything because I kept her pose the same. Her arm was at a right angle holding up her bag, but I just switched the bag for the coat and I think it looks super cool. And then I gave the guy the handbag. At this point, I realized that I missed a line. I don't know how I managed that and didn't notice until this point. But I don't go in and correct that mistake right away because if I did that, I would probably smear the black ink of the fine liner into my yellow marker. So I decided to color everything in first and then go back in with the fine liner to finish off that line. I tried to add some pink undertones to the skin color. As I've mentioned in previous videos, a lot of my markers are running out of ink, so I feel like my skin tones are kind of lacking right now. But I did my best and I like the way it turned out. The dress was also something that I had kind of a love-hate relationship with. I did this sort of splattery texture. If you look closely in the photo, there are actually a bunch of like little flowers, but I didn't feel like taking the time to actually draw that out. I think what I ended up with communicates the same aesthetic, but it took until the very end for me to actually feel confident about it. Before that, it just kind of looked like a weird abstract mess, I guess. Overall, I really enjoyed the new added element of two characters in this challenge. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like it this way better? Or do you want me to go back to the old way of doing it? Or if you have any other suggestions. 
about this challenge or not about this challenge, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. It makes me very happy. Here at the very end, I accidentally stamped a little bit of my date onto the character. That's what you get when you use a camera lens to aim and stamp. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for you today. Sorry this is a little bit of a shorter video, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next week.